Hey folks, it's Nick with Archetype of Man. So a little bit different format today, filming at home. So I wanna start off by talking about hydration. Roughly half of Americans aren't getting the adequate water every day that they need to. Uh, if you ask my family, I typically ask them if they've had their water for the day. The first time one of the kids or my wife uh, brings up a headache or anything like that, I normally say, well, how much water have you had? We just don't drink uh, enough water collectively as a society. Um, you know, there's things like coffee, which a lot of us drink in the morning. There's sodas, which a lot of folks drink. I don't drink a whole lot of those. Energy drinks, uh, alcohol, whatever it is that you drink throughout the day. And a lot of those things, not only are you drinking them in place of water, uh, sometimes we don't realize that those things also dehydrate us in the process. So water is super important. We should be drinking more of it. Uh, I normally always have a water bottle around. So this is a Nalgene. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen these sorts of bottles before. Uh, they're BPA free. They're resilient. They're tough. Uh, they're great. This one, if you have looked closely, you'll see that there's a straw and then a canister down at the bottom. So we'll take some close-up looks uh, here in a bit. So this is an Epic Water Filters Nalgene. I think they call this the OG Grande. Holds 48 ounces. So it has a, a filter in it, a little flip top, and you know you, you drink like you would out of a straw. Uh, I have this with me at the house fairly constantly. I, I go through a couple of these a day, um, just in the time that I'm at home. And then throughout the day, especially on a, a landscaping intensive day, which now that it's October, we're starting to slow down uh, and the temps aren't as bad, but I still drink a lot of water. Uh, now is the time of the year where I need to remind myself to drink water because, you know, I'm not pouring sweat like I am throughout the rest of the year. That being said, Epic Water Filters uh, reached out to me a while ago, several months ago, in fact, uh, and wanted me to review a couple things. So I've been using this bottle, I uh, actually took it with me. It came right before I went to the Range Master Instructor Development course. I took it with me because we drink well water here at the house. Uh, I'm not a big fan of tap water or as I say, city water. The taste is off. I just, sometimes it upsets my stomach. Sometimes the taste is really off. You know, if you're down uh, in the flatlands, Florida, South Georgia, things like that. So I took it with me because Bottled water is A, expensive, B, you know, a little 16 ounce bottle of water doesn't do much for me, so I've got to worry about bringing like three or four in because I drink so much water. Um, the first thing I noticed, and this is all the way back in August, you know, I filled this thing up, it comes with two filter cartridges. One is uh, the every tap filter, and I'm gonna be rolling in uh, graphics and stuff as we go here, and there's of course gonna be information down in the description. The every tap filter is designed for uh, water that's already been treated, you know, tap water. Um, I use it here at the house with well water, even though we do run a, a filter in the fridge uh, to get our water from there. Still, uh, it just changes the taste and it gets rid of a lot of the harmful stuff that you would find typically in water sources. The other thing uh, that I like about this, that the filter that comes with it is one that can be used everywhere. Uh, any freshwater source, whether it's a pre-treated source like well or tap or just a standing freshwater creeks, you know, even some of the, the mountain streams around here, you don't want to get Giardia. That would be a terrible way uh, to ruin a camping trip or vacation or just daily life. Uh, for those of you that don't know what Giardia is, gastrointestinal distress uh, to the utmost. So water purification is huge. So the other filter that goes in this canister, uh, I can use out deer hunting, camping, whatever. So that is cool. Now they not only sent me this water bottle, but they also sent me a countertop dispenser because, you know, this is great for drinking, but if I want to cook or something, um, I want a way to get that same water filtration and use it for making coffee, uh, things like that. And that is where this thing comes in. Holds two gallons, goes on top of your counter, has a, uh, once you get it set where you want it, I brought it up here for the purpose of this video, a little slide top, um, get you a mason jar of water, and then I'll go ahead and lower this camera so you can see what I'm doing here. 
So once you have this set up where you want it, go ahead. I'm just using a mason jar for this. Pour your water in and let it do its thing. Um, it's not instant, but it doesn't take forever either. Slide this closed so you know it keeps other stuff from getting in there. And you wait and it does its magic via gravity. So where this really shines, uh, at least for us here, so we're, we're all electric, we've got a well, uh, power outages, well is not gonna work unless you have it hooked up to a generator. So with something like this, instead of worrying about having to have, you know, a case of plastic water bottles, one of the best things I came up with is we have tons of these mason jars. Uh, you know, you fill up 10 of these or something before a bad storm comes through, you set them on the counter. This thing's topped off, like I said, two gallons of, of drinking water ready to go, cooking water, coffee, whatever. It's sitting on the counter, you use it. Um, and like I tell the kids, if you notice it getting low, pour some more water in it. You know, don't, don't let me come down with it being empty. <laughs> I think part of that's just having kids. But, and it works great. And it really does uh, change the taste. And by change the taste, of it's just a, a cleaner, Just it just tastes like water. There's no other weird taste to it even that uh if you guys are on wells and you've gone and had you know city water or whatnot regular tap water whatever you want to call it you know there's always that weird taste um that's gone that's gone with this um and i haven't tried this with city water but with the nalgene uh, that is awesome they sell replacement filters filter life is three to four months this uh countertop nano two gallon filter will do 150 gallons of fresh water um, bpa free so you, you get rid of stuff like that and then this little guy here this is what's really cool uh 75 gallons of water so about three to four months uh, and you can get replacement filters you can buy them in a bundle to save some money it just makes sense so as far as what they take out i'm going off my notes here um Atrazine, 99.8% removal. Bacteria is 99.9999%. Chlorine, 99.1%. Cisc, 99.999%. Lead, 99.4%. Microplastics, 99.25%. PFAs, 99.09%. Trihalomethanes, 99.4%. And virus phages, 99.95%. So another thing that we can get into here, you know, if you're the type of person that's like, oh, I got an iron stomach, you know, that doesn't really appeal to me. I don't talk a whole lot about environmental impact on the channel. It's not because I don't care about it. It's just because, you know, all of us, depending on what we do and our habits and things like that, we, uh, we do things that maybe aren't necessarily the most sustainable or great for the environment. Plastic water bottles or, or just plastic pollution in general. Um, that's a problem. You can get online and you can see just how many of those end up in the oceans, the rivers, uh, and plastic takes a long time to break down. So by using something like this, I'm drastically reducing the number of single use, uh, plastic bottles. And I know some people are going to say, well, you recycle them. It's easier said than done. A lot of smaller towns like mine, there, there is no recycling option that's easily available for a lot of us. There was a note here that said approximately how many plastic bottles this could uh, replace. All right, so each filter that you use in here replaces 550 plus landfill bound single use plastic bottles. I'm not sure where they come up with that number, but I know on certain days um, in the hotter parts of the year doing landscaping, I can run through a 24 pack of Dasani or Aquafina or whatever bottled water, uh, anything but Deer Park. I don't drink that crap. I can run through a 24 pack in a day. Uh, it just depends how hot, humid, what I'm doing. So I, I, again, 550 seems low for my use case, might be more for you, might be less. Um, so this is a, this is a review. Um, they didn't pay me to do this video. They did send me the product and the products aren't aren't cheap but i do feel like they're fairly accessible i think this setup is about 55 bucks which again it's a nalgene name brand bottle uh, it's not crazy for what you get i'm not sure on this one off the top of my head but there will be links down in the description so while it is a review it's absolutely a review that i'm super excited to bring you guys and i don't mind if you want to 
call it an advertisement as well because I do feel like it is a good thing. It's something that I've used for months now uh, daily with this, almost daily with this. Um, and along the way, we've had some storms where we've lost power and having this on the counter for drinking water is awesome. Uh, bottled water wasn't something that was easy to set back for that because the kids would be like, oh yeah, you know, it's convenient. And next thing you know, it's like, well, where'd that case of water go, you know, for power outages? This is a lot more convenient. Uh, you know, I've got a five gallon water jug that I keep on standby for power outages for everything from running through here if I need to, or more aptly, you know, if we need to flush the toilets or something like that. But now that jug is dual purpose because I can put it in here to be perfectly safe, uh, to drink, cook with, whatever. So while this is a review, I don't mind if you want to call it an advertisement. Um, I would be a little perturbed if you called it shilling uh, because I don't really look at it that way. Uh, they are affiliate links. It does help the channel if you buy it. Um, whether you use my link or not, I think these are worthwhile investments. So I think we should talk a little bit about how Epic Water Fil Filters came to be as a company. Um, because that, that was interesting to me and it might be important to you. So right on their website, and that's where I'm pulling this from, and of course there'll be links in the description. Their founder, uh, Ash Heather, founded Epic Water Filters in April 2015, recently relocated to the U.S. from Asia. He witnessed the distressing volume of plastic uh, bottle pollution plaguing the beaches and rivers. First-hand experience sparked a mission for a solution to the pressing environmental crisis. Started with developing a bottle with a robust filter in it so people in countries with poor water quality could drink that water without getting sick, at the same time reducing the need for single-use plastic water bottles in those countries. With Flint, Michigan making international headlines in 2015 with its massive and unimaginable water pollution crisis, it became apparent this was not just a developing country problem. So, you know, there, there's things like Burita and Pure and whatnot, and we have used those. Um, the house that we lived in before now, several years ago, we would get boil water advisories frequently. Now, we were on city water and not well water, um, but it was at least monthly. So we tried the, uh, I think we did a pure filter on the faucet. It, it was a hassle. This, this is simple. Um, the company makes it easy to order replacement filters for both of these units. They're reasonably priced. And again, we're talking about a filter life. This thing, three to four months. This one, what was it, 250 gallons. So basically 125 fills of this. It also has a little gauge here on the front. Um, I say gauge, it's a little screen, a little reminder to let you know how long that filter's been in there. It honestly doesn't get more simple. And this, this setup right here, I mean, they asked what products I was interested in. And I said, you know, this looks awesome. It's 48 ounces of water. Uh, you know, that's what the side says. It's about four ounces of displacement for the, the filter cartridge in there, which isn't terrible. It looks really cool. Like I was sitting at the, at the range master class and, you know, I had this on the table and guys were looking at it like, what well, that's going on in there. Um, which I'm a big Nalgene bottle fan anyway, you know, Boy Scouts, Eagle Scout, that's, they're indestructible. I mean, they'll get scuffed up so bad that they go from you know, transparent to kind of opaque, but they don't, they just don't break them. I mean, you have to do a lot to break them. Uh, and they're very durable. And like I said, I drink at least one and a half to two of these a day when I'm home. And that's just when I'm home. If I remember, I bring it with me. Uh, they're just awesome products. So if you have any questions about them, feel free to drop them in the comments. Uh, anything I haven't covered, uh, I'll be glad to do. I hopefully will have enough uh, additional information in the description and pinned comment to, to answer a lot of those questions for you. So as I said, I've been using them for, uh, let's see, August That's when I got them, September, October. So we're going on two months, almost, yeah, right over two months to the day uh, that I've been using this one. And we'll, we'll say seven weeks instead of eight because I had to get home from that class and get this thing set up. So... Uh, yeah, I use it. I'm going to continue to use it. I'm actually getting ready to order the replacement filter for this one, and I'm going to go ahead and order one for this so it's on standby. So in terms of stuff that I actually use that I feel comfortable 
uh, recommending to y'all. This is at the top of the list. And hopefully this is a small reminder to remember to drink water. Um, super important, but really important. I'm not a doctor. I have stayed at a Holiday Inn Express, but um, that's, that's some good stuff. Drinking water is important. Uh, it's not saying that you can't have the occasional soda. That's not saying that you can't have coffee. Just realize that those things are diuretics. They're going to dehydrate you more. So um, what I tell people is, you know, log however many ounces of whatever you had, coffee and soda or energy drinks, whatever, and then make sure that you're taking that in, in addition to your recommended daily intake of water. It's just good insurance policy. But, you know, the water itself that you're bringing in could come with problems, lead, uh, chlorine, you know, depending on the concentration of the chlorine there. And then obviously bacteria, viruses, uh, that stuff's not good. So I would prefer to drink my water without that. Uh, and then we can get into the fluoride debate if you want to. Uh, I'm, I certainly have opinions on that. Um, I'll say this, I get the fluoride I need when I brush my teeth and we'll leave it there. So yeah, uh, I hope this was presented in a manner that you realize like, yes, I hope you buy this stuff. Uh, it'd be super cool if you use my affiliate link to do so, but at the same time, uh, affiliate link, no affiliate link, I would recommend these the same to you. I really do believe in them. Uh, I really do love not only the countertop unit, but this, this bottle, uh, this has truly been life-changing for me here at the house. It's super convenient. It's got the little thing. You can carry it around, a uh, little flip up, drink your water, go about life. Uh, 48 ounces means less trips up and down the stairs to refill it, which I like. And worse comes to worse, you hold the loop and you can whack somebody with it, I guess. <laughs> Getting back to the roots of the channel anyway. Uh, so this was, I, I was surprised to get an email asking if I wanted to review these. Um, I took a couple days, looked over their website and sent an email back that was like, yes, absolutely. I think this would be awesome. I try not to do much lecturing on the channel. Uh, particularly about health because, you know, it's not like I'm some Greek Adonis over here. But the one thing I can confidently say is that the more water uh, we drink, the better we'll off we'll be, especially with 50% of Americans not drinking the minimum daily recommended amount of water, which is insane to me. Guys, that's going to wrap it up. Let me know if you like this video format, doing it at home. Um, we're trying to try some other things now um, because there's really no reason that I should drive to the Sportsman's Club to review water filters. So if I don't have to go to the gun range to do a video, um, that works out in our favor. So my wife set this whole room up. This is like our little library here at the house. Got like bookshelves over here. Got a nice little comfortable futon thing. You can sit in here and read. Uh, play guitar or whatever so and I guess it's gonna double as a YouTube studio for some of this stuff uh, for at least recording videos but let me know what you think about that and like I said links are gonna be in the description on these I really cannot recommend them enough you're probably sick of me saying that but I just have to hope that over the years that I've, I've earned enough of your trust um, I'm serious guys look them up for yourself make a decision they've got a variety of different products that you know these aren't the only two things they offer but i don't think that you'd be uh investing money poorly in buying their stuff so and thank you to pilar and epic water filters for sending these out um, it's been an honor to review these and like i said i, I love them um, using them daily plan to continue using them so guys stay safe stay hydrated and i'll see you next time